Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm actually back with a community lot. We are building a vet's office today in the world of Moonwood Mill, which is the world that comes with the stims for werewolves game pack. And this is going to be like a family vet office. I thought it would be cute to build it in this world since, you know, this world is full of werewolves and it'd be cute to have just like a little family practice here where they take care of all sorts of pets, probably a little bit of a focus on dogs, but I thought that that would be a cute idea and I wanted this to look sort of like a house that was turned into a vet's office, if that makes sense. It's super rustic in its shape and style and I'm very happy with how this came out. I also got these cute little dormers up here. We don't actually have a functioning second floor. These are just decorative, but I was really happy with how they looked. And there ends up being two exam rooms, a surgery room, like a break room sort of area for the staff, as well as a bathroom and a waiting area. So there's plenty of space in this vet office for all of the things you would need to use. And if you wanted to add some more space upstairs and like actually have a sim live here so you can um, not have to travel between lots when your sims need to go to sleep, that's a possibility as well. Anyway, if you do like this build and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. I did build this lot over on Twitch first. Uh, if you didn't know, I do stream on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey three days a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you'd like to join us, it's really fun to kind of collaborate and create some builds together. I would love to see you join us. It's absolutely free. And uh, it's just a fun way to hang out and you get to see these builds early and how they come together in real time and like the whole decision process. Uh, so anyway, right here, I am starting to work on the landscaping. I pretty much have the whole shape of the building and I'm trying to figure out where I want like a little side yard or backyard to be. This is where I'm going to put some of the agility equipment that came with cats and dogs. So if you want your dogs to like you know, learn to run through all of the hoops and up the ramps and all of that. Uh, that is supplied in the backyard space. And I also decided to have a bit of like a small parking lot here because I just wanted it to look more like a community lot, even though it's supposed to be like a house turned into a vet's clinic, if that makes sense. Uh, so I am grabbing a couple of cars here and I will actually, you know, finalize that area a little bit later adds more detail so it actually looks like a parking lot but right now I was just getting all of the required items for the vet's office to plop inside and then try and start figuring out a floor plan uh, so when you first walk in I have like a little desk area that looks like where a receptionist would be or like front desk people but you don't actually need that in this game you just need this little self check-in area so I have that up there as well but I wanted it to still look like there could be someone sitting at the desk. So I included like a register and a bunch of like food and stuff you could buy and a computer and chairs and all of that. And that is wrapping around into this little waiting space, which also has some of those vending machines where you could get like wellness treats and stuff for your dogs. And then there'll be a hallway leading back into where the exam rooms and the surgery room and everything are. And I will be also adding another bump out on the side of the build so that there can be a bathroom that you can access from that waiting room. I think it works out really nicely in the end. I love how this vet office came out. I haven't built one in years. I'm pretty sure I only ever built a vet's office back when cats and dogs came out. I might have done one other at some point, but it's been a long time and I think this one is so much cuter. So this was a really fun suggestion one of you had left that I do a vet's office. I've been trying to do some more community lots lately, so if you have any other suggestions of community lots you'd like to see on the channel, please leave those down below and hopefully I can incorporate some of them sometime soon. So yeah, we're back outside now and I'm trying to paint the exterior of the building. I wasn't really sure if I wanted it to be paneling or stone or what mixture of the two I wanted to have this space be. Uh, it does end up being a mixture, but I was trying every color and every texture possible before we come to the final version. And 
I will actually be darkening all of the windows and the exterior, which is something that I don't do very often. I feel like I'm afraid of the dark wood colors on the outside of builds and like brown windows in general. I just don't use them that often. Uh, but I did today and I think it came out so cute changing the tone of the stone I have here as well as the columns really helped and please ignore that the little half wall on the top of the chimney I didn't change I do notice it like very very late in this build so it's gonna stay like that probably for the rest of the build but in the final version the top of the chimney is the correct color but I think this is what I ended up going with on the outside it's very dark, but I think it looks so incredibly cozy and exactly the vibe I wanted to go for. So I was quite happy with that. And then I decided to do some more landscaping at this point. I had just wanted to get an idea of the inside. So that way, if I had to add any additional bump outs, which I did have to do, I could do that before I fully landscaped the outside. A lot of the times I'll just do the whole outside and then I'll figure out landscaping or then I'll figure out the floor plan. Uh, but this time I wanted to make sure since it was a community lot, not just a house, that I had space for everything I needed. So anyway, uh, for the landscaping, I'm using primarily show live edit objects for the plants. We have some that are from the werewolves pack. We have some from Realm of Magic. The tree, I believe, is from the outdoor retreat pack. I also, of course, added some like signage out here from cats and dogs. So we have a billboard about cats and dogs. We'll be getting like a sign that has a little logo on it over here. I fiddle around with it quite a bit to figure out which piece I want and it disappears later, but I add a different one. It's fine. I just don't like a lot of the little decals that it came with, but I wanted something to be like, this is a vet's office. So I figure something out in the end, but you can see me trying all of the different ones. So uh, this one I ended up scaling up and then lowering down because the one that snaps properly to it for some reason was not showing up. But I found it later when I went to go add something back because this one disappeared. So it worked out okay in the end. And then I just decided there needed to be a tree behind that to kind of nudge in that corner. I love putting trees around like bends in houses. I just think it looks really nice and natural. And I like to make it look like places actually look in real life. I try to kind of go between this line of having stuff that looks realistic and things that aren't too annoying to play with in The Sims. But luckily, trees disappear when you get too close to them in gameplay. So that works out nicely. And then over here, I decided to make a little hole in the fencing and put a gate over here. So that way, there was a way to access the backyard space from the parking lot. So uh, I liked that. It's probably not the most realistic parking lot, but I decided to put the smaller car over in that tighter space. Uh, so that way, at least maybe it made a little bit more sense, but I think it looks cool in the end regardless. I like adding little parking lots and I tried to blend a couple of different terrain paints together and I'll be just continuing to smooth them out and add more plants throughout this to make it look as smooth and realistic as possible. I'm not sure how much it does, but uh, it, it comes together pretty well, I think. I also end up adding some like rocks on this lot because there are a lot of rocks in their surrounding world. That's something I do a lot with builds is I try and replicate the landscaping that I'm seeing in the world that's like off lot that you can't change without mods. And I think that makes it look so much more realistic and like it blends into its environment. So that's what I was doing here. And you can see I also put all of that agility equipment outside. I think it's so cute. And actually, I would love to bring my dog to do something like that. I feel like every time I've ever used this equipment, I mention that, and then I never get around to it, like looking for a place that he could play with <laughs> this stuff. Uh, but at some point in time, maybe I will, but I feel like he'd just be very confused or maybe like a little scared of it. But I also think he'd be really good at it. He, he's very active and uh, he's a good boy. And you might have seen, I mentioned in a recent video that I'm actually doing Vlogmas this month over on my vlog channel. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, so I'm uploading every single day of December <laughs> or up until Christmas and my dog has an advent calendar and he's been opening it every day on my vlog and it is so cute his reaction to the things he gets. So far he's only gotten treats most of the days and then there was one day where he got a ball and that boy is so excited. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing some cute puppy content or behind the scenes of 
like what's it like to be like a sims youtuber or just like cute things and christmas presents and all of that sorts of stuff i am vlogging every day and i will have that link down below you don't have to follow but i would truly appreciate it we just hit like a thousand subscribers over there which is super cool so thank you for that Anyway, this is that front desk area I had mentioned. So we have the self check-in, but I also put a, um, a register over here. We have some food and treats and like cotton swabs. And then I'm changing out the back desk areas to be a island counter. So I could actually place a laptop up here and make it like a functional workspace as well. And as I find other items I want to place throughout the office, I grab those. So I have a cork board. A couple of different ones. I have one for the postcards behind the desk, but I also put some over in the waiting area that look like they could have like coupons and lost pet signs and all that sorts of stuff you definitely see in a waiting room at a vet's office. I also wanted to get some clutter up here. Of course, I have to find a use for the clutter kit in every build. So we have a water bottle and some glasses. I'll be adding a couple more items throughout. I also have some files back here. Maybe you are actively looking at one of the patient's information. And I also put a lot of these like wall mounted files throughout the build. I think these were intended for either the like police station or the hospitals that came with get to work. That's what pack they're from. Uh, so I placed those around. I thought that that was pretty realistic and uh, you'll see them in like every room in this vet's office. I think it worked out nicely, but we're trying to rearrange the waiting room here. I changed it a few different times because I needed to make sure we had the space for the entry to the bathroom, but I also wanted to have the vending machines. And then we end up getting a little critter out here as well. I believe I grabbed the hedgehog version, but uh, you'll see me grabbing that here shortly. One of the critter cages from my first pet stuff. I thought it was a pretty cute idea. I'm thinking maybe he was a rescue or somebody perhaps found him or he was surrendered and so he's temporarily living at the vet's office and he's up for adoption. I thought that that was a cute idea. So that is what that is for. I also put a TV in the waiting room because I think that's pretty realistic and I got to use some of these decals that I never use. I think they're from cats and dogs because they could be from my first pet stuff but I think they're from cats and dogs and I just thought they were so perfect in this waiting room so I was quite excited about that. And then I just had a rug in there and we're moving on into the exam rooms now. I wanted them to be very simple and the same because, you know, that's pretty realistic to how vets offices are. They're simple and um, most of them look the same. So I'm using these base game counters and cabinets over in the corner. We have like one counter that's empty and has like supplies on it. And the other one is a sink. I feel like that's pretty standard in vets offices and actual like hospital or not hospital like doctor's office rooms. So I was trying to go off of that. And of course we have the exam tables as well, which I think are so cute. I love that we have a actual functioning vet career in this game. I think it's so fun. I haven't played with it in a long time, but maybe I should sometime soon. I love the concept of it and I take too many screenshots of my Sims with like patients up on the exam table. It's just so, so cute. Uh, but I say that and I I'm saying that when I'm not thinking about the fact that there's constantly vomit all over the place. Like you can't keep up with the amount of vomit on the floor when you run a vet's office, which is why I put down the robot vacuum, which in The Sims, it works fine. It's totally cool. It can clean up vomit. It can clean up poop. It's fantastic. In real life, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> it would be spitting it and like smudging it everywhere. But luckily in The Sims, it's fine. Uh, so then in here, I made sure to put like treats and like vet supplies and like needles and stuff over on the counter. And then a couple of posters in each of these. One of them is like more focused on cats and the other one on dogs, but all the different breeds and the different important parts. And I just think it came out really cute. I added some of the other posters in the hallway as well so that the little hallway to all the rooms is decorated. And I wanted each of the rooms to have slightly different decorations. So you'll see me uh, changing some of those out here shortly. There's actually this little box that we got with the everyday clutter kit, which will be going in one of the rooms that the normal swatch on it, like the base swatch looks like there's like a soda can and some chips and stuff. But one of the swatches, when you go through it, actually, actually a couple of them looks like it's like gauze and things like that, like wrapped up medical supplies. So I thought that that was perfect to put in one of these rooms. And I also wanted to have 
uh, these little signs that show like the different parts of the cats as well as dogs and a couple of like diplomas to say like, I am qualified to be looking at your pet <laughs> and helping assess their medical needs. So anyway, this is going to be the break room slash like back room. So I have like a microwave, a sink, some counter space. We also have the station that they can do like experiments and make treats and stuff on uh, back here. And then this is the surgery room. It's very simple. It just fits the surgery machine. And I have some decor on the walls that I feel like would be applicable to, you know, a vet's office. And then in the break room here, I wanted to get some cute decor. So we have some more dog treats. I have a couple of these little statues, which I think are so cute. And I'm pretty sure I put some clutter on the table to make it look like it's actively being used. And this is when I realized this piece has the like medical supplies in it. So I wanted to bring it into that uh, vet room there. And then I just got some like coffee cups and all of that sort of stuff over here. I really like how this space comes out. I think it looks so lived in and largely I feel like, or not lived in, but like being used. It looks like it's a space that's actually um, being utilized and worked in. So I, I think that's hugely because of the clutter kit a lot of the time because like you have your supplies out. I'm so happy about that little box that I placed in that room. I just think it's such a nice added piece. Uh, I also got a little rug in the hallway that I scaled up and we have some more uh, like diplomas and stuff in here. I'm thinking maybe every person that can operate that room has their little diploma up on the wall being like, I am certified to do this. And uh, I also have a little rug here that I was thinking they could stand on while they're operating the machine. Kind of cute. And I hang a couple other things up on the walls as well. I'm trying to remember what. I think just a couple more like posters and stuff. <laughs> we have a lot of these in the game. So just wanted to get that in here make sure uh, everything is nice and filled up and it isn't blocking the way from actually using this space because it's kind of important that they can do the surgeries that they need to. I don't remember which ones they do, but basically the animal just goes into the machine and then they come out and it's done. So it's kind of like the surgery station we have in Get to Work, which is also how they deliver babies and stuff in Get to Work, where your sim lays down in this thing comes over them and then these like arms go in and do whatever and sometimes they pull their heart out and all of that. Uh, you don't really get to see it but it's still kind of a cool thing to have included in the game. But anyway this is going to be the one and only bathroom in the build. It is off of the waiting space so that way customers can come and use this as well. I just have a sink and a toilet, a couple of cute decorations as well. So we have a little cat statue over on the sink. Uh, making sure to get soap. I believe I got paper towels in here. Yeah, this dispenser from Get to Work, one of my favorite items. I know that's really weird to say, but it's just so realistic to have in public spaces. So got that in here as well, some flowers, and I believe we get a couple of decorations in here as well. Oh yeah, these paintings of cats and dogs from uh, my first pet stuff. I was thinking those could be like kids' drawings. I feel like that is very common to find in vets' offices. Like kids drew things of the animals and they just they're on display. So that's what that idea was. And that's pretty much it for this vet clinic. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye everyone.